Hey guys, it's T from Driftwood Gaming, and I'm here to show you another plugin that I wrote. This one does proximity sound for your events. Let's check it out. you get the idea. So the closer you get to an event, the louder it's going to play the background sound that you specify. Let's take a look at the plugin command that you're going to add to your event. Each one of these events would have to be parallel to play the sound. And in the plugin command, the top section is to identify which plugin, which event, not plugin, which event you're going to be using to spit your sound out. And in this one, it is Quiet Town. And then you specify your sound. You have this nifty little drop down. You can play them and hear how they sound and you can change them and stuff. And then the next part, you can change the pitch. And in here, you can decide how loud it's going to start. So like one, one tile away, it's only gonna play 50% volume. Therefore, you will never get above 50% volume. If you want it to be a little quieter, this is what you can do. And I decided to use that since this is the quiet town. So uh, I also wanted the radius of the sound to be a little lower, so it will only play up to eight tiles away. And then I selected dynamic panning to be true. And all that means is that if you're to the left of the event, it will play in your right headphone ear thing. And then if you're to the left of the event, it will play in your, uh, no, if you're to the right of the event, it'll play in your left one. Yeah, that's how that works. 3D panning is got, qua it has quadrants, so it'll play based on uh, where you are relative to the event in a more 3D way, but that is not useful in a 2D environment, so until there's something in MZ that uses 3D, this is pretty much useless, but it's there for the future. So anyways, let's keep moving on. Parallel event, all this nifty stuff, this makes it so it's a smaller area of sound, and it never gets that loud. This one is kind of the same, a little bit smaller area of sound, it only plays 10 tiles away, but it goes up to 70% volume, so it gets a little, a little louder. And then finally, for the city, it plays all the way to 18 tiles away, so it's got a bigger radius, and it plays 100% volume if you're right next to the city. So you can play around with this a little bit. I didn't add 2D panning since there's not really, you really can't go too far to the other side of the city. But anyways, so one thing to note with this plugin is you cannot, absolutely do not, whatever you do, do not overlap the uh, radius of the sound proximity because that will definitely mess it up. And I'm sure I'll fix that in someday in the future, but right now that's how it goes. So say the radius here is 18 tiles, which is like, I don't know, right around here, blah, 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 blah. You wouldn't want the radius of this one to run into the radius of the other one or it will cause problems. So make sure that the radius of each sound proximity event that you're using is separate. Another thing to note is that you can still put a background sound on your map and the background sounds from your proximity events will play and turn off the way they're supposed to. Uh, which was shown in the video. I had rain background sound playing and then each one of the background sounds of the respective cities played the way it was supposed to. So I think that's it. If you guys find this useful, then download it and use it and have fun with it. It's a free plugin. Enjoy. Definitely uh, subscribe to Driftwood Gaming. Click that like bell and press the notification thumbs up and come and join us on Discord because that's where we hang out most of the time. I'll see you guys next time. Bye.